Hi everybody, it's Anthony from ComicsEatingUp.net. I'm back with Terry Hockness from HocknessComics.com. We're doing our weekly spec review video picks. Uh, this week is kind of a big one. Um, normally what I look for in a book is a buzzworthy book, a book that people are talking about, a book that's getting interest, or books that are selling out online. Terry, do you want to talk about how you make your picks? All right, thanks Anthony. So a lot of books out this week and just a few that I want to highlight. You'll notice that every week I rank all the books on how likely I think they're going to heat up short term or long term. Um, and there's only a few that I think have a, a better than 50% chance of heating up. So let's look at see what those are. The first one is Riverdale number one from Archie Comics. This is a one shot tying in to the new TV series, which is, you know, doing pretty good. Actually, I'm personally enjoying it a lot. Uh, print run will be fairly small on this, of course. If if the buzz for the TV show keeps growing, uh, it just might turn out that uh, retailers didn't really order much of this. It is a one-shot, though. That kind of hurts it a bit. But it means it's all tied in to the TV show in one concise issue. So I'll give this one a thumbs up. Stuff of Legends Call to Arm number one is the first issue of the last series of Stuff of Legends. This was bounced around a bit, saying there was going to be a movie adaptation that's yet to come to fruition, but you never know. Um, like I said, this is the last series. Uh, we're going to see smaller print runs on the books, and this could be harder to find, and if the movie ever does come about, then these could be key. Creative Mind gives us Atoll number two. We've been waiting a while for this issue from writer Tim Daniel. I love his work. Always support it. He always gives us high quality indie stuff. Print run is going to be very small on this book. Again, number one heated up, so number two could do the same. So I'll give it a thumbs up. It, it pains me to say this one is Karate number one. It's sold out at Midtown. It's sold out at Things from Another World. Action Labs don't put out big uh, print run books. So this one's going to be an interesting one to see. Like I said, it is selling out online, so um, it has that going for it. It's going to have a small print run. Um, I'm interested to see what this does Wednesday afternoon. This could be a Wednesday winner. DC Comics are usually printed high enough that they don't really heat up. But a lot of their miniseries in the past year have slowly kind of just disappeared. Stores don't order as many. And so if there's a bit of buzz long term, all of a sudden books can heat up. This happened with many DC miniseries last year. And Savage Things number one comes out this week. There's eight issues. It might take a while for it to sell out. So this could be a, a long term pick. But just be watching this one. I'll give this one a thumbs up just in case. One book definitely on my radar this week is Death of Hawkman, number six, cover B variant by Bill Sankevich. This book is selling out everywhere. It really is. It's sold out on Midtown. It's sold out on Things from Another World. I haven't seen whether or not it's on my comic shop yet, but if it is, I'll be grabbing a couple of copies uh, come Tuesday night. This one looks like it's going to be my pick of the week over on my list on comicsheatingup.net, so I'm giving you the early heads up on it. It's also selling for $15 to $18 on eBay already, so this is not one you want to pass up. Image has a big week. Extremity number one is a new series debuting. Image comics have been selling out and a lot of them have heated up. This isn't a guarantee that all of them will this week. And I don't think these are the, the best ones coming out. But Extremity's got a chance, so I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. I agree with Terry on Extremity number one. I think this one could be a good one. But there's also a one per store variant that people should be on the lookout for. It's definitely something that if you can find or if your store is willing to part with cheap, it's worth the grab and it's worth the flip. Also, we've got Rat Queens number one. This is a relaunch of the series from Curtis Weeb, who is up here from Canada. Uh, popular fan base for this cult following. Um, this might take longer to sell out, though, because, of course, retailers kind of know what to expect with this title. Royal City number one is Jeff Lemire's new book. Uh, Jeff's got a great following. He puts out quality work. It's a little bit quirky. Not sure how big of a seller this is going to be. I'm still waiting for him to complete AD after death. We've got two issues in on that. There's, uh, it's running a bit behind. So I'm wondering if he's getting too many projects going on at one time and we're going to see some weakness in uh, shipping schedules. And this is kind of my biggest image pick for the week. Uh, he's got a good uh, fan base, um, but it's kind of specialized. So not everybody's going to enjoy this book. But again, it's going to sell out. Print run's not going to be very high on this, so I'll give this a thumbs up. Think Tank, Volume 5, Number 1, which is relaunched again. Again, retailers know what the buzz is. 
this title just doesn't seem to get really hot so this could be actually a harder image number one to uh, heat up so I'm not quite as buzzed about this one but again if retailers don't order enough be, be on the watch for this one my personal biggest pick for the week is Smoketown from Scott Comics. I love this publisher. They are the new black mask for speculators. These books have small print runs. Most retailers don't carry them. They keep heating up overnight. So this one has a huge chance of that happening. Again, this gets my biggest thumbs up for the week. This is my number one pick. I agree with Terry on Smoketown number one. The creator is a local guy to me. He uh, lives in my area and shops at my local comic shop. Give him a thumbs up on that. Just got to support the local guys. Walking Dead 165 is the latest issue, tying into the TV series. Again, a lot of buzz for this. The show is still the biggest show on TV, and fans keep hunting these books out. It's going to take a while for this to sell out unless something major happens in it. But usually long-term pick, these issues are all guaranteed to uh, go up in price a little bit. I don't usually pick Marvel books. The print runs are the highest of any publisher and unless there's a major first appearance, these books don't usually heat up. But I'm going to pick America number one. The latest female teen star gets her own series. A lot of the Marvel female heroes have done really well and built a following. So this one could happen as well. Um, it'll take a while though probably for the regular cover to show some heating up but it's likely to sell out and go to a second printing so watch this one monsters unleashed from marvel i believe has a one in 100 ratio variant it's going to be very few retailers who will order this and it's also got a 4.99 cover price so this is going to scare just about everyone away this could make this uh, variant cover a really hard one to find so be watching for this one see if you can get a deal on it if any retailers carry it again everybody thanks for watching Terry, you want to close us out? Um, so, lots of cool books out this week, and uh, have fun speculating. Let us know. Give us your comments on uh, how well you've been doing with the last few weeks with your picks. What did you pick up, and how well did you do?